Hello Vikings! My name is Melissa Madison. I'm the Access Counselor at Barstow Community College and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Access and the student supports and accommodations that we offer. Access falls under special programs and services. Now that we're all remote and online, you can't visit us in the K building, but you can visit us on our Canvas shell. So on Canvas, you can find the special programs and services shell, click on it, and there will be access information in there, as well as all special programs information. So I want to review with you student supports and accommodations, how to see if you're eligible for our program, what paperwork is needed, and how to contact us. So let's get started. So on this screen, you'll see student supports and accommodations. All access students receive tier one priority registration. So that means you're one of the first people on campus to register for your classes for fall and spring semesters. We also offer interpreters for our deaf and hard of hearing students. That is for online as well as in the classroom. So right now we're all online. If a deaf or hard of hearing student wants to meet with myself as the counselor, they can request that an interpreter also is in our video conference call. On-campus supports include peer note taking, that's for inside the classroom, as well as mobility services, that's for on campus. We do offer alternative format on textbooks. So we offer an ebook and it's an online audio book it pairs with some of our assistive technology called Kurzweil 3000, and that will read the book to you out loud so you can hear it, or you can follow along and it'll highlight the words. We do offer enlarged print for our visually impaired students, as well as braille textbooks for our blind students. We have a large amount of assistive technology for students who may need it. We have enlargers for our visually impaired students. We also offer audio recording devices for in the classroom. So Kurzweil 3000 is a software program that I started to talk about for the audiobook. And on that program, your textbooks will be uploaded to your virtual library, and you can use your textbooks on Kurzweil. The cool thing about Kurzweil is it also has a note-taking section. So your screen's open, your textbook can be here, you can pull information and put it on a Word document and take notes that way as well. We also offer Zoom text for our visually impaired students, so it will take the screen or the information and make it bigger so that they can read it better. We also offer Dragon. Some disabilities, um, students cannot hold their pen or type their information, and with Dragon they would speak and it would then text everything they are saying verbatim. So as the student speaks, it will then type it out for them. We offer a smart pen and that looks like a regular ink pen except on the top of it is an audio recording device, at the bottom of it is a camera. So in the classroom as you're taking notes you can record the lecture as well as write your information and then all of that can be extracted onto your computer. So you'll have a digital version of your notes as well as the audio recording from that lecture. We also offer C pens. They look like these little cube things. They have a set of headphones that go in your ear. And as you go and it look kind of like how you would highlight a word, you do that with this piece of assistive technology. And as you go over the word, it then reads it to you through the headphones. One of our most popular student supports and accommodations are testing services. So if we were on campus, we offer our own testing area in the K building. Currently, we are not on campus, so testing services for online includes extended test time. So students who may qualify for example, they qualify for time and a half. If your exam is one hour, you would then have an hour and a half to complete it. Another thing that we offer is scan and read. So Kurzweil 3000, how I was telling you about like the audiobooks, if you like to hear it auditorily, you can have your exam read to you in that way as well, even for your online exams. So you may be asking, how do I qualify for access? So we have 10 categories that automatically qualify for our program. We have deaf and hard of hearing, we have autism, we have learning disability, visual impairment, acquired brain injury, also known as ABI. 
We have mental health, we have intellectual disability, we have mobility, ADHD, and other. So say you're looking at the screen as I'm talking, you're going, oh, Melissa, I'm interested in supports. I don't know if I'd qualify for any of these. We have other. And so documentation that we're looking for to see if you are eligible is any documentation that specifies your eligibility. That can be a note from your doctor, it can be a note from your psychiatrist, it can be an IEP from K through 12. So if any time in K through 12, you were in special education classes or you had an IEP given to you, you can give us a copy of that and it qualifies you. You can also bring in medical records or if you were ever assessed for a learning disability, also known as an LD assessment, you can bring that in to us as well. If you went to another college and you were part of their access or DSPS program, you can bring in that information and we'll accept it and transfer services to Barstow Community College access. I also want to talk about Nine Line and veteran support. We offer student support and accommodations to our veterans, although it's not under access, it's under our Nine Line program. But the student support options are the same or similar. There's specialized counselors through either vets or access that you would be assigned to. And if you're a veteran and you're interested in more information about Nine Line, please reach out to us. And always, we thank you for your service. So if you want more information about access or about Nine Line, because we are working remotely, the best way to get a hold of us is through email. Our email is located on the screen, access at barstow.edu. Even if you just have questions to see if you would be eligible, please feel free to reach out to us and an access team member will get back to you as soon as possible. I really want to thank you for watching my video. If you have follow up questions, please send us an email and I really hope you have a great day. Bye.